So this is a Minecraft character that renders natively in DaVinci Resolve via Fusion. And I'm gonna show you how to use it and also where you can buy it. So if you wanna buy it, then there should be a link in the description that works. I have set the price to $4.99. I don't really know what the price should be for something like this. This is the first Fusion template that I have sold. I plan to do a lot more in the future. So this will be kind of a benchmark, but let's take a look at the template. So when you install it, you should get this and you can just put this on the timeline and it doesn't have anything uh, from the start. You have to load a skin up here to use it. So if I load a skin, it will start like this and it will have this animation from the start. It is quite slow when I'm recording with OBS at the same time. I have tried to optimize this a lot. It took a week longer to do just because the optimizations. So it should be running as fast as it can at least. But as you can see, this Minecraft character is rendering with this skin that I downloaded from the internet. And you also have all these controls over here. So you can use slim arms and you have to move this for it to update. So if your micro character needs slim arms, you can just activate that one. You have show head only. So if you're having a multicam sequence with your friends or something and you want to show their Minecraft skins in the upper left corner or anything like that, then you can use this. We have orthographic mode here that uses the orthographic camera. This looks a lot better when using the X rotation at the same time. I have also added the wireframe mode because it exists. <laughs> it doesn't actually need to be there, but I thought it looked cool and you can animate in the colors and stuff so and then you can turn on anti-aliasing or not and then i have sorted transparency and this says slow because it said slow in fusion but i only have this because i have noticed that some skins with transparency doesn't really work right the original way for example this skin doesn't really look right so if we click the sorted transparency button then it will look right so for cases like this they have to sort transparency and i can also show a skin here with slim arms it looked like this it's remapping the textures too and then we get position left and right we get position up and down we get position in and out and also these sliders go to minus one here but you can actually go lower than that you can just click lower if you want to. None of these sliders are actually the maximum or minimum. It's just kind of the value that makes sense. So in X rotation, for example, it goes to 180 degrees because you probably don't want your character to be more than 180 degrees. And if you want that, then you can just put it the other way. In Y rotation, it goes 360 degrees if you want to animate it. But as I said, you can also just go further than that and in said rotation you can also go to 180 and then we have the arm angle which is how much the arms should point outwards and we also have leg angle here and it will also animate like this which can be pretty weird and then we have the animation stuff so if we drag this on the left side of this dot here then it will animate on the left and if we drag it on the right, then it will animate to the right. And if you drag it really far, then it animates faster. And if we want no rotation, then just click the dots and it will stay in place. Walk animation and walk animation speed can be a little bit confusing. Walk animation is how far the legs will go up. So if we go to a high point right here, then we can just drag this if we want the legs to go higher. And this is kind of the old school Minecraft way of running. But if you just want a little bit of a walk, then you can just drag it down. And walk animation speed is kind of self-explanatory, I guess. Uh, if we drag this faster, then she will walk faster. And if we drag it really fast, then she will walk really fast. And obviously, as you saw before, this is all transparent too. So you can put your video underneath and stuff. One thing to note is that X position and Y position and Z position actually moves the character in 3D space. So if we go over here, then we can see more of the right side of her. And if we go over here, then we can see almost head on. So this is good to use if you want to have more characters on screen at the same time. And you want the perspective to line up. But otherwise, that's it. As I said before, you can get this template at the link in the description below. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.